Hello and welcome to Space Shark Teaches. I'm Sean from Space Shark Studios and I'm here to teach you about GD Script in Godot 3.1. So this is a kind of a preview of what the rest of the series is going to be. Um, basically we're going to start by learning about the Godot engine and then we're going to learn a bit about GD Script, which is what we're going to be using in this whole series. If you have not scripted before or you are unfamiliar with Godot, then I recommend you actually start the visual scripting tutorial series. Um, it's also for Godot 3.1. If you feel comfortable with scripting or you have used Godot before, go ahead and stick with this. We'll be covering the same stuff as in that series, but we're going to be going a lot faster and a lot more in depth because using GD script is a lot more powerful than usual, using visual scripting. So to go over the games we're going to be making, we're going to start with a 2D platformer. And then from there, we're going to expand onto an infinite runner that will have um, spawning platforms and obstacles and stuff like that. After that, we're going to move on to a 2D top-down adventure game and then on to Pong or Brick Breaker, probably both. And then we're going to start looking at the basics of 3D in Godot. So that's going to be a ways away. So if you're holding out for 3D, there are plenty of other great tutorials out there as well. And then finally, we're going to be talking about how you can bring your projects to the world, how you can make it available for people to play on PC, or on the phone or on the web, all those great places. I look forward to seeing you in the next lesson where we start talking about what Godot actually is.